Hello, today we would see how we can monitor a windows machine through RL command center. Currently, I have a windows machine which runs windows server 2008. We have a script that would help us put monitoring agents on this machine. The script would work on different flavors of windows server like 2012 and 2016 as well, but I happen to run windows server 2008. The script runs on PowerShell. There are a couple of prerequisites. We presume you are logged in with a user that has administrator privileges. If you would do that and you would open a PowerShell with as an administrator, you would see the title as administrator colon windows PowerShell. We also expect the following ports to be open such as port number 8301, 8302, 8500, 8600 and 3030. The details on these port numbers and their respective usage is also mentioned on the documentation. To run the script, we would need a certain parameters. Prior going to the parameters and the script, let us see how we can download the script. It is downloadable through a command called invoke web request that would take a URL and an argument called hyphen out file with the file name that you would want on your local machine to be present. So for example, as in when I execute this command, the file that we are downloading would come on our local file system with the name windows hyphen agent dot zip. As in when I hit enter and then I say ls, I would be able to see the folder. I would be able to see the file over here, windows underscore agent dot zip. And as in when you would extract it, you would get a folder called windows underscore agent. Now let's try walk into the folder and see the contents. I have a special file called explain underscore parameters dot txt which is for our purpose at this point in time. But as in when you would extract the folder windows underscore agent, you would find the script windows hyphen agent hyphen installation dot ps1. Now the script accepts a certain parameters. Let's try and go over them one by one. These parameters as you can see are about seven in number. The first one being a business service name, which in our case is pet clinic. The second parameter happens to be a dependent service name. Now our example application pet clinic runs on top of Tomcat. Hence the dependent service name is Tomcat. Parameter three would be the tenant ID. In our case, it's relevance, but for you, you would be provided with your tenant ID. The fourth parameter is the port number. If you would see, we, we had also passed the port number as part of the URL. Now, if you didn't pass a port number as part of the URL, this port number would be considered. The fifth parameter is the URL. The sixth and the seventh parameters are the checks interval and the JSON file name. Now, checks interval is the frequency at which the checks run. The JSON file name is the JSON file which would have the console configuration. Now that we have looked at the parameters of the script, let's try and have a look at the script and how it's being run, including the parameters. If you would see, it says partial execution policy bypass windows agent installation dot ps1 which is our script name and then we have passed on parameters pet clinic tomcat relevance the port the url the interval and the file name now as in when you have got this just try and hit enter and you would see it says chef does not exist and it is downloading chef so all of our scripts are predominantly on top of chef hence Firstly, it will try and get chef. Once it has got chef, it will try and pull in a certain cookbooks and then it will try and install Sensu, it will try and install console and then make the console configuration. And then your specific node would be visible as a BSM on the RL command center. This might take a little, little, little process.
but as you can see i believe chef insulation is currently being done because it was able to pull and it has got the chef msi onto your temp directory and if i could scroll down a little it says installing agents let me pass up pass on the video until the script execution is actually done so that we would re resume from that point in time now if you could see there was a little warning regarding a ruby gems version dependencies or some deprecated ones but, but apart from that you could see at the end it said monitoring agents installed successfully now after that to check whether the services are actually available and running you can use ps pipe it to a command called find str and then grep for the specific process for example if you could see i've just gripped for sensu and it is showing me the process ids and the service name which is sensu hyphen client in the very same way i can also grep for console and you could see that console is also running now this particular service would actually come up as a bsm on your rl command center thank you